Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the drum baffle on your washer. If the baffle is damaged, it may also cause damage to your clothing. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, our first step will be to disconnect power to the washer. And depending on the model that you have, the baffle may be attached to the inner basket with a screw. Now to determine if there is a screw holding it in place, we'll begin by removing the main top and look for a hose into the outside tub and open that up there. So we'll start by taking the main top off. So we'll remove these three screws across the back of that main top. And just lift up slightly at the back, grab the sides, and just pull it back towards you until it disengages from the front, and then you can lift it off and set it aside. Now that we've removed the top, we've noticed that this model does not have a hose that goes into the top of the outer tub, so we're unable to determine whether there is a retaining screw for those baffles. Now our next step on this style of washer would be to remove the lower access panel, then remove the sump hose and look through that opening at the bottom of the tub to determine whether there's a screw or not. Now if you wish, you can take the complete front panel and console off that may give you a little more access, but we find that as long as you take that access panel off on the bottom and perhaps lay the washer flat on its back, that you'll be able to do that. Now before you begin that step, you'll want to remove the inlet hoses and the drain hose and pull the washer far enough forward and get some help to carefully lay it on its back. Now we've tilted the washer back against a solid surface to show you where these screws are on the bottom of that access panel. Once you've removed all three screws, just lower that panel and set it aside. Now our next step is going to be to remove that sump hose from the bottom of the outer tub and then using a mirror we'll look up in there and see if there is a screw that is retaining that baffle to the inner basket. Now with that lower access panel removed you can now see the drain pump and the sump hose where it attaches to the outer tub. We're going to loosen this clamp and remove that hose and look up through that opening to see the bottom of the baffle where it mounts to the inner basket. Now there will be water in this hose so you may wish to drain that first by opening this button trap. Just unscrew it counterclockwise and have a container there to catch that water. And we've laid this washer on its back so you'll need to do this with it standing up or be prepared to catch the water as it comes out of that hose. So take a large pair of locking pliers Squeeze that clamp and then just work that hose off of the other tub. Now we want to look up in this area and just rotate that drum around until the baffle winds up with that opening and then inspect the bottom. Now you will need a small mirror to be able to view that, but you can determine whether there's a screw holding it in place. And we've elected to remove the pump just to give us more room to access that sump opening. It's very easy to remove this pump. There's a little rubber bumper that holds the pump mount in place on the base. And viewed from the bottom, we're simply going to push up on that rubber mount or you can access it from the top side if your washer is still standing upright. You just lift it up. That will allow the pump to slide to the right. You can lift it through that opening. Now next, remove that hose just to give us a little more room. Press 
that spring clamp, slide it down onto the hose. Drop the hose down into the bottom of the washer and you can tuck the pump up into the side. And now we'll have clear access into that opening in the sump. Now that we've pulled that sump hose completely off the bottom of the tub, we can see up in there we've lined the defective baffle up with that opening and there is no evidence of any screw that is holding that baffle in. However, what we do see are these metal tabs that are hooked behind a plastic post on that baffle. So we'll need to lift up on those metal tabs. We'll do that with a flat blade screwdriver. Just reach inside the drum and pull that baffle towards the front of the washer, see if it'll move, and now we've got it released. Lift it away. We've removed our defective baffle. This is where those two tabs attach it or keep it from sliding basket. Now you take note on the new baffle and the old one as well that there is a longer distance between a hole and one edge. And that longer distance will go towards the back of the drum. Now our first step will be to lift up on these tabs. that baffle in place, line up those six squares with the two hole slots, and then you should be able to push that towards the back of the tub to lock it into position. Now we can put the washer back together. So just line up these locating pins with the openings on the bottom of the front panel. upwards and then we place the retaining screws across the bottom. And now we can stand the washer up and put the top back on. Now we're putting the top back on. We're going to set it so we put a half inch gap between the front edge of it and the back of the console. Lay it flat and then push it forward to engage it at the front and then we can install the retaining screws at the back. back into place and reconnect the supply hoses. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.